What am I eating today? Working on some videos. And so I had made some rice for Sammy. And cooked her food. And now I'm talking and she's like, who are you talking to? Anyway, and so I thought I'd open a can of roast beef in the can. A can? A can roast beef in the can? <laughs> there she says, hello. And had some frozen stir-fry veggies in the uh, freezer. So, made me a little sea, uh, Chinese food. I was going to say seafood. Little Chinese food. While I sit here and watch some videos on YouTube. The beauty of short power. I'm popping me some popcorn for the road. Today's travel day. Oh. Uh, stop. And that's what I'm going to snack on today. Just some popcorn. Ooh. It is time to hit the road. It is travel day, and we have about three and a half hour trip, so that's like a four, four and a half hour. But we got to get propane and Walmart, so it's going to be a whole, whole big, long day ordeal. So, but it's about, and we're kind of leaving a little late. It's 9:42, um, but we're ready to go. Sammy, you ready? She should. Yes, you ready? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, have y'all ever seen this? <laughs> I'm looking for a New Mexico magazine. Maybe he knows. Yeah, I need to ask. They have one in for Oklahoma. Yeah. So I have to take it up front and you have to pick it up from customer service. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is it because people are drinking it? I, people steal it and drink it and use it for drugs. Yeah, because it was that Tide, Tide pods. pods or whatever. But look, <laughs> those aren't locked up. But you can't reach them like normal shelves. Well, I could go get a ladder and then reach it. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> That's funny. So, all the laundry detergent. Is locked up and you have to push this button for the associates to come get it and then they take it to customer service <laughs> all this is fine it's crazy it's it's tides it. fault look there's only one box of tide Look at the snow on those mountains. Pretty. Little project I'm gonna do today is to replace this. What is it called? Skid proof adhesive stuff. I put this on there. Gosh. Back. I even have a video <laughs> on it um, because Sammy was getting her toenails caught in there so I needed to cover that up so I bought me some more adhesive stuff and I got this in quartzite at RV Lifestyle so I'm gonna replace this one and this one for now and I just noticed it was coming up pretty easy It did. I'm going to scrape this off and put down another row. No, not a row. Well, I guess it is a row. It's kind of sticky, so. Alright, I'm definitely going to have to have two hands to put the new one on. Well, that's done. So I had bought enough for four strips. One, two, three, four. And I have that much left over. <laughs> and it wasn't really that hard to take off, which this is 3M Safety Walk. This is no brand. 
I'm sure there's a brand, but it's not on there. But anyway, it was an easy project. That one's done. Mark that one off my list. Time for a beer. So my next little project is putting these coaster things back in my truck. Uh, the problem is they had, they stick to the bottom of my cup and then I find them on the floor. I find them outside. I find them in the camper. I'm going to end up losing them. So what I want to do now is just put a little bit of my little nifty little Altoids tin here. Let's see if I can open it up. I have super glues and I just opened this one and I thought I'd show y'all what I was doing. So I'm going to just put a little little dab of do ya. I've been liking this. I've been using this stuff lately. And push that down. Do the same to this one. Maybe this will hold for a while. Clean my truck again. What I did the lid. Oh, there it is. Okay. Two projects down in one day. I can rest for the rest of the week, right? <laughs> I just found this. And I've been thinking, doesn't that have an antenna on the back? It was laying down here. Gosh. Of course it does. It's my backup camera. That's crazy. Craziness right there. This afternoon, I am going to have me a hot dog. Well, a chili cheese dog. Yeah, I've been craving a hot dog <laughs> since we went back to that tavern and they were supposed to have hot dogs. They didn't. So my mouth has been watering for a hot dog or a chili cheese dog. So that's what I'm having today. Not just like this cheap hot dog chili sauce on my hot dogs easy i got some of these beef oscar meyer bun length hot dogs i'm gonna put two in there <laughs> don't waste another pan and um these come in a two pack so i'm gonna put one of these packages in the freezer because i'm not gonna want that many hot dogs and then maybe tomorrow i'll eat the other two and I am not on shore power anymore, so I'm not going to be able to use the microwave. So, they're going in there. They're all going to cook in one pan. I went ahead and cut the hot dogs in half because their bun length is almost length, lengthwise longer than my pan. So, all right, let's get this cooking. Okay, there's my bun. I'm going to have one bun, some mustard, some cheese, some relish, a couple of green onions, garlic. This is raw. I used to eat garlic a little bit more than I have been, but I've been watching um, RV Living with the Geezer, and he's starting to eat garlic, so I'm going to start eating garlic more, too. Let's check out. Check out the... Alright, I say it's good. Let's warm up the bun. And how are we going to do that, you might ask? <laughs> A little bit of tortilla from this morning's breakfast there. Let's just toast it a little bit. This don't look like a cold bun. Oop, I don't like cold buns, do y'all? Little toasty don't hurt it. Okay. How's that? There it is. 
I always eat my dogs with a fork and a knife, unless I'm at the, you know, baseball field or something. And we'll see here and work on some comments on YouTube. So I'd mentioned that these um, hot dog weenies are bun linked. <laughs> I think they're in competition now because the weenies longer than the bun. <laughs> anyway. Just thought that was funny. I never buy full bun length ones. I don't know why I did, but anyway, let's dig in. Mm hmm. <laughs> 